Hello and I'm back with Desmond's Geometry and this time we're going to be making a square or actually two squares. So let's get started and oh yes just if you want to follow along as usual go to desmos.com slash geometry and if you haven't watched the previous videos please go watch them and so now let's get started two points mm, so two circles this is we normally do this kind of stuff then yep two segments we put two segments here and then I'm going to simply draw a circle here and then maybe you can always see it here we go that's square it's just tilted around you need to spin it around and that looks a bit more like a square okay so that is this for now I won't hide it yet because you might notice that this square it like this the original two points they connect as a diagonal of the square but what if we want this to be the side of this square then we just need to build a bit more circles a few more circles in we need one here we need one here and then we also need one here and um oh yes i think we need one more circle I know. We just need some rays here, one ray here, another ray here, and now connect these points. There we go, a square, and this is now the side, a side of the square. This. So, yep. Now I'm gonna hide everything. So let's see. Just gonna hide all these circles that we don't need. Ah, uh, okay. Hide those first, then hide this line and also this, these extra points. And oh, this one too. And there we go. We have our two squares. One as the diagonal and one as a side. And Yes, sure, I'm just going to do all the angles. 90 degrees. Confirmed. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And 90 degrees. Yep, I know to these ones. Okay, bunch of 90 degrees there. Oh, well, there's a lot. And yeah, I was just gonna do this for fun. Let's connect these up. 45 degrees, why not? That is, hang on. Wait. I've got an extra point here. Um, I think we'll hide this then. Two. You don't need that. 45 degrees on both of these sides too and oh yeah I'll do the side lengths too why not going to select all of them label yep confirmed and once approximately square rooted to the time of the other times the other yeah four times square square root eight should be approximately five point Six sixes. Well, that looks suspiciously close to uh, 17 over 3, I'd say. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hopefully I'll see you in the next video.